Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with a quickie video here. I just wanted to take a look at some uh, a little custom prop set that I just got in the mail. Take a closer look at this. This is from my man Stephen Fernandez. Want to give him a shout. Also want to say thanks to um, Hasbro real quick for actually sending me these little figures that you see on the side here. This was a little um, uh, gratis bag from uh, the interview before New York Comic Con. So. Got Star Wars Black Series, got the Star Wars Forces of Destiny, uh, Ray, Staff, uh, Titans, uh, Return, Transformers, and um, Marvel Legends Blade. So that was cool. But yeah, getting into my man Steven's uh, prop set here. Let's do that. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? The fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends, imports. Many may be out fucking with High beast we know about you. Stay buying figs, don't know about it. And just taking a closer look at the ice box, you can see all of the different ads and everything littered here on the front. See the ACBA logo smack dab in the center. Bunch of graffiti and stuff up here. And it says trap there. Tomorrow Kings. The ice sign, that's like the official ice logo that you would see on all of these ice boxes. And it would say ice down the side here, but there's some graffiti over there. That actually looks like his tag. You got the Iron Man or the Tony Stark uh, ad there. Big pun. Yeah, you already know. My man Steve is from the Bronx, so got to have big pun on there representing Newport, the official cigarette of the hood. <laughs> you know, black people love their menthol cigarettes. But uh, it says hip hop. Got this fella here with the braids. Brooklyn Zoo. I guess that's supposed to be ODB, maybe. And uh, Stan Lee ads there. This all looks very New York centric, very authentic to New York. And just the little details on here is great, man. This lock actually comes off. So this little lock uh, comes off, and you can actually open the ice box. And that's how the inside look. And again, that's very authentic. The way he put that, uh, uh, this paper back here to make it look like it's uh, sort of cold insulated ice box. And inside, we actually have some bags of ice. So a couple bags of ice. So all of the time that he took to do this, man, much props to my man Steve, man. This is really dope. So this is a great little prop that I could put out in front of. Uh, a street corner or in front of a, a bodega or something like that for a scene and it'll have that very authentic New York City feel so I do really really like the way this came out this is dope I'm sure I'll discover other things that I didn't see right off the bat as I look at this more oh the Arizona <laughs> Arizona iced tea this is very authentic to the hood right here I'm feeling this a lot uh, but yeah, let's look at uh, what's in this bag here too. So yeah, I opened up the bag and you know what makes great ACBA, what makes great display work is all of the little details. You know, as you add like props and accessories and things and you go over every little aspect of your display, the props and all of those little accessories and things, are, is, to me, is like the equivalent to just going to back to a nice piece uh, graffiti or some type of artistic thing that you did a drawing a painting and just adding in those little details and just you know going over it with little details so um, so everything in here is, is stuff that could be used to definitely accent your display and make it look more authentic and, and give it a little more depth uh, so this looks like a like a burnt piece of cardboard or something like that it actually looks like it could be the front of a of a gate to a, a store too but you can see some bullet holes or something in there and it looks like it's burnt and worn so this is something that you could throw down in the alleyway or something like that just for some rubble and again a lot of different little things here got a little bag an actual paper bag <laughs> so if you want to use that in a store setting or again just throw it down as a rubble uh, this looks like it's a uh, oh, McDonald's <laughs> Uh, you got a little uh, McDonald's uh, Big Mac container or something like that. I hope my lighting is okay. I'm still trying to figure out this camera here. And this looks like a can. And then we got another bag here with some more paper bags and some rolls of money. So that looks pretty dope. 
I'm not going to open that right now. I don't want to lose anything there. But again, more accents. Uh, we got a loose uh, Tony Stark poster. That looks good. And some paper. Looks like a lost dog. It says lost dog on there. That's cool. A can. More paper. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right there. The Cocoa Puffs box. Everything is to scale with six inch figures. Uh, the weekly circular. You know what I'm saying maybe it's from Pathmark or Fine Fair or Stop and Shop or one of them st stores we got out here on the East Coast. Uh, newspaper. This looks like a Pringles can or something like that. That looks cool. More bold up paper. The coffee pot. Right here, Maxwell House. Authentic. More newspaper here. Looks like it's from the circular. Then we got uh, Daily News. Dawn of the Brain Dead. <laughs> With Donald Trump there on the front. I'm not sure if this is an authentic uh, uh, cover that they did or if this is something that he just did on his own. I would assume that he took this from some actual real cover. And it says Clown comes back to life with the NH win. Uh, yeah, maybe he did that on his own. I don't know. I can't tell. But again, that looks great. Wow, look at this. Uh, we got a spray can. Uh, and then we got, um, I don't know what that is in there. I can see Raid. Uh, let's take these out. These I'll take out. But you got Raid. You got a spray can for that graffiti. And this right here is Rust Folium. All right. And then you got a freaking Metro card or a stack of Metro cards. So Metro cards is what we use to ride the trains and buses here in New York. So again, very authentic piece of loose leaf paper. <laughs> oh, this is good stuff. Uh, potato chip bag. That looks great. Oh, all right. Another paper bag with some uh, tissue inside. I guess this could be like some French fries or something in there. Wow, <laughs> paper airplane, so that's cool. I think this might be a crush pack of uh, cigarettes. Yes, definitely, the Newports. Bam, official sponsor. Um, no, I'm just kidding, not the official sponsor. Don't smoke, it's bad. Uh, then we got some more newspapers here. Am I taking these out? Yeah, I guess I am. So a bunch of different newspapers. This is going to go great with. And that's the thing, too, about displaying, man. Uh, you know, I, I do this a lot. I mix and match a lot of people's uh, displays and props and things to bring together some, some sets. And a lot of times I know it looks like one cohesive set the way I do things. But, uh, you know, I use a lot of different pieces. For instance, this backdrop here, this piece is from my man Chris Lyons, which I showed a, a month or so back. Uh, but, yeah, I'll be... Mixing some of this stuff that I got here from Steve with my train station diorama from Al Figures. And, you know, you know, shout out to my man, uh, Punk of Mike, who's actually running a little contest right now where props are actually part of the theme. So I'll link his uh, his contest in the description, too. So, you know, so community love here. And then we got some actual leaves in here. And I guess these might be cigarette butts. I'm not going to take this stuff out, but... The leaves look very authentic. They look really cool. And what is this? Is this like a case of beer? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Hold on a sec. Oh, I see. Okay, this is like a banana box or something like that. Just a, a box. You could use this for like food deliveries or something like that. Again, all of this stuff is just great for accents for... A display or something like that so I'm really happy with this with this whole pack um, my man Steve's information will be in the description below as well so if you want to hit him up and try to order something then uh, you know his information will be down there punk of Mike's information for the contest will be down there I guess I'll put this stuff to use and set up a display real quick and talk about other things that we got going on and uh, yeah thanks for hanging out